Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am decorating my September monthly and I'm going to use the exclusive stickers from my Patreon. My sister actually drew these up. We went with the Halloween theme since next month is October and I love all the seasonal stuff. So I wanted some pastel houses and I got some cute little ghosts and costumes and bats and all that kind of stuff. So I have these exclusive to my Patreon. If you're interested in joining, these are available. These physical sticker sheets and a digital download are available on the big tier and up. I also will have a sampler download, which you can have access to on all tiers. So definitely check that out. They're really, really cute. I love how they turned out. So I'm going to use these to decorate this spread. I know it's not Halloween, but... This has just been my thing this year, is using the exclusive stickers to decorate my monthlies. Uh, I'm also going to pull in some boxes, of course, because I don't have boxes. But look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. They're super adorable. Love how they turned out. All right. So, uh, I have, like, all my little sticky notes that I pre-planned on. I have them off to this side. So I can reference um, what days I need to put down for each item. Um, so, so yeah, for each day. So I'm just going to reference that and put down boxes. I have monthly boxes from um, jo Mojo Jojo Plans. And I'm going to use these because they will fit nicely in here. I want more like pinks and stuff. I think I'm going to go with pink. The pink. We're just gonna go with this. I need like, like pastel -y. I also brought these monthly shape or monthly shape pastel shapes because I might bring in some circles. I think circles would be cool. We shall see. Oh, you know what? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cover up all of these like little holidays on the bottom. And I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put these stickers. It, it's a little tricky putting these um, in my monthly because I don't have a lot of room. These are going to be great in a like classic or a vertical spread or any regular prep spread. But I'll make it work. Um, I think... Okay, so on the first... Um, oh, you know what I didn't pre-plan? I just realized my bills. Okay, that's okay. I will just add those in as I go. Just notice that. Totally forgot to do that. Okay. Um, should I just do pink? What other color do I have in here? Maybe like a... Ooh, purple. Yeah, purple. All right, so... Uh, the first and then the fourth I have something oh it's Labor Day so I'm gonna put a big box for that one Labor Day um, then we have on the 12th I'm going to Disney again for the Oogie Boogie Bash which is like a big I've never been to it before um, but it's like a Halloween kind of celebration Type of event that they're having you actually have to get like i have a pass to disney but you actually had to buy a separate ticket for it i forgot how much it was i think it was i can't remember um but it's only for people who got that special ticket to go to it so i'll be going to that with my sister and my friends so that's exciting um and then on the 13th i did take the day off on the 13th because this, I don't know how late this goes. It's later in the day at night. So I'm thinking I'm going to be exhausted. I would think I'm going to be exhausted. So let's see which, which box. Hmm. I just realized this only has like a couple sizes. Of, oh, you know what? Maybe this is where I can use. Yeah. I can use a box in a circle because I need to put two boxes here. So, oh, this is a nice blue. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a purple. 
this is for my day off. But then I also have to note on here that I have a call that day. So that takes care of that. And then I have, or not a call, there's like a, a live. Oh jeez, I just took this messed up. This is the wrong day. one the 22nd I did want to note that because that's the first day of fall so let's put this here this blue purple one all right so I got Disney Labor Day the Oogie Boogie Bash and last first day of fall and then no work okay so I got all the big boxes Next, I'm going to just do maybe some smaller ones. Oh, I actually need a box here. I got something else I need to note here. And then I'm going to note something here. this smaller one down here and then I need a pink one so up here and then I need to get more of that blue let's see where can I get blue over here I'm just gonna put it there because on this day we're actually it's my day off but we're actually also celebrating my stepdad getting a new job and my sister's coming with her family so I wanted to note that all right and then I just want to note a couple of bills that I have oh you know what let me put one there because I have a couple bills on Friday and then let's see the 18th and the 15th and the 8th and the 8th so I'm going to do the 8th on this one with the purple and then the 15th with Oops, why did I put the 18th? It's not the 18th. It's the 10th. Okay, and then the 15th. I'm just getting a pink box. All right, I think for the most part, that is all good for all my boxes I need. And then I'm gonna find bullet points to stick in for some paydays, but that's about it for now. So it's kind of like the base of the spread. Now um, I'm going to take this black striped washi. This is from Live Love Posh. Just going to line the bottom with this. This one too. And I'm going to do the top as well. I might do some more in the middle, but once I get things down, I might add in more. Oops, not there. Here. Cool. Looks good. All right, so now where am I going to put these things? Because, uh, let's see. Okay, I want to grab this little spider web here. 
And we're just going to stick it over here, the side, and I'll just cut this off. So that is good to go. All right, so I have these houses. I was thinking of like doing a little like row of them. Let's see, let's do this yellow one. Kind of want them like staggered a bit. We shall see how this looks. Ah, I didn't grab wax paper. I should probably should have, or should, but. Well, later, if I need to. Um, okay, maybe that's not the best way to do it. Mm, you know what? It's going to stay. It's going to stay that way. So maybe. I think. You know what? Let me stick a box down. I'm just going to stick a box down just for decorative purposes. <laughs> Sometimes I do this. And I'm gonna just stack this on top. Okay, and then I think I should stick another house. I think this blue one, maybe behind it too, just a little bit behind it. It's a little row of houses so that works i like that and then i'm gonna grab a little ghost because look how adorable the ghosts are i've got a little <laughs> it's just so cute um in the witch hat a little pumpkin And then some bats. Love the little bats. Okay, that's one little scene area. I really like that. And then I have this side piece with the spider coming down. So let's stick that over here. I feel like that's perfect here. Okay, it's looking good. Now, let's move on. I need another, I love this ghost. It's a kitty cat. And I just think he's funny and super cute. So we're gonna stick him here. I kinda want some bats. Going around. <laughs> so cute. I love it. All right, next, let's do another house. Okay, I got this like, I really like these skinny houses a lot because I can fit them pretty nicely on these pages. Um, but I kind of also want to put one of the bigger ones. Okay, so maybe I'll do this one. Gonna stick it there. I've been trying to be better about not caring about covering up things like the days of the week and all that. For me, it's all good. So that works there. Let's see. Let's add a, another pumpkin. We'll add it with the kitty cat. Alright, so I want to put down this house with the ghost in the witch hat let's put it here if it's kind of perfectly here around all these boxes that i need it's a little crooked but honestly i feel with the halloween spread crooked actually works so there it is <laughs> okay and i like that it's on this level because 
I don't have anything in the center. So I'm going to take this house and this other house, layer these together. They're actually the same silhouette of a house, just I kind of made this one a little bit more like distorted looking so it looks different. All right, so that one's gonna go there. Now I need to stick another ghost. Um, I have this little, it's like Frankenstein. It's got little bolts on the side of his head. So I'm gonna stick him here. And I got this cute little one with the bow in her hair. So I'm gonna stick him here, her here. At first, when I was doing this and, like, sizing things, I was trying to size them to, like, the house, but they're ghosts. They don't need to be size appropriate, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't mind that they're um, bigger than the house. Alright, I have some spider webs, so I'm thinking I need some... Maybe, let's see, let's see, where should I put some of these? Not here, not here. I feel like on this side, just cut it and then I can use another piece or this other piece somewhere else. Cool. All right, so this side needs bats. I made sure to include a lot of bats because I like them. More bats. Kind of reminds me of like a moon. The way that it's like layered, which is cute. I used all the little ghosts, so that's good. Oh, I didn't use this pumpkin. That cute little pumpkin. I'll just stick it kind of like that one. Just stick it there. Cute. All right, cool. I just didn't use one house. Again, it's kind of hard in the monthly to use everything from this sticker sheet, from these sticker sheets, but I used a good amount. That's good. All right, now I want to find some stickers that are like more oh, functional or yeah, more functional stickers. So I have um, this book right here, Rainbow. So I can maybe grab some like quotes and stuff. That'd be cool. If I have some, it's kind of hard for me to find things though. Okay, so I have some like little headers. I'm going to throw some of these around the spread. Just a little remember. I'm going to do another remember. Let's see. I don't think the pink in here is good. Yeah, it's kind of bright. Okay. So not that pink. Let's see essential quotes. It's too dark. Nope. I was gonna do like, maybe I could do just do a box here. Let's see a monthly box is what I have. Let's see what color. I kind of want to do purple. I have this long skinny one. Actually fits nicely here. So that works. Alright, so I like that. Alright, I'm going to pull... Just pulling books, the, my usual books I always keep right next to me when I'm filming because these tend to work pretty nicely in spreads. 
Ooh, how about these like big words? Like plans. This would be cool. Plans. Okay, can I fit one on the other side? The other side's a little, a little it's a little tight in here. <laughs> Super tight. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna look good. I don't know, I kinda like it. I'm gonna go with it. And then I have this other one that says love. So I'm just gonna stick it here. Annoying that it's cut off on the bottom, but I don't know. Maybe maybe that's not a cute look. Hmm. Okay, that works. Uh, okay, I also wanted to add some bullet points. Ooh, hold on. Sorry, before I do that, I have more quotes. This one says, "Wow them all." I'm just gonna stick that here. I can actually put this here. Okay, I like those huge words. Mm, they really make like a, a nice impact on the page. Okay, I was gonna add some bullet points for my paydays, but you know what? I think I kind of don't want to add it now <laughs> that I'm looking at this spread. I think it might clutter it too much after I added all those big words around this spread. But I think it looks really cool like that. All right, the only other thing I'm thinking of maybe adding is some washi. Maybe to like just a few little areas here and there. We'll see how this looks. Because I don't want to add too much again. It's getting, it's quite busy, but I like the busy look of it. So I can add one there. I kind of want to add one over here. Ah, try not to waste this washi. By cutting the edge off but it's so hard sometimes to put this down okay it's kind of kind of close but it should be fine oh I don't know oh no I messed it up <laughs> okay that didn't go as planned I'm just gonna leave it like that it's fine um but you know what? I'm just gonna add a little bit over here and then I think that should be it. Should do it. How cute is that spread? I love it. All right, so those are the stickers that my sister created for my Patreon. I love how it turned out, so fun. Can't wait for um, Halloween and all the decor. I'm actually gonna start decorating soon my place. Um, so I'm excited about that. But again, if you are interested in getting these stickers, they are exclusive to my Patreon. So definitely check it out. You will receive these three, the three sheets that I used. Ooh, I'm still like editing these a little bit, but basically these three sheets plus a digital download. So you can print your own over and over and over again if you want to. And you can also like change the sizing and all that. So that's an option. And then also if you join any of my tiers, you'll get that little sampler download. I, I think I'll show a picture of it. And that one you can print off on your own and use that as many times as well. It's just a little sample of the stickers. But yeah, love how this turned out. I think, sorry, I'm standing up so I can feel that I can see this spread a little bit better. So I'm just going to add a little pat right there. And then I think with that, I'm all done. It looks so cute. I love how it turned out. I'm really loving these. I feel like maybe I should make some of these big, huge, words um for future spreads because i love that big bold look of that um but yeah other than that hope you enjoyed this plan with me if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you in the next one